So Mike, we're going to have a look now at another GPS option to get really accurate race lines for your uh, your performance here. Right. So we're looking now at a Racebox Mini, which is a new device on the market. Uh, this is again is a, a Bluetooth GPS device. So you want to mount this in your vehicle with maximum view of the sky. So the more sky we see, yep. the better performance we're going to get. So this guy here, again, you can mount uh, on the dash. Uh, or you can affix it to the roof of the vehicle with a, with a good mounting uh, mechanism. Yep. And it's going to vary for every vehicle. All right. So in your car here, we've got a, a Velcro pad on the dashboard, yep. a Velcro on the back of this device, and we're simply going to stick it to the dash like that, Perfect. and we're ready to go. The Racebox Mini GPS receiver does not need to be added to your phone Bluetooth paired devices. All of this is managed through the My Race Lab app, and it's the same method for iPhone and Android users. Make sure your Racebox Mini is charged and within a few meters of your phone. Open the My Race Lab app and go to Menu, Settings, Devices and Sensors, Bluetooth Devices, then tap on the plus next to GPS devices. Select Racebox Mini, and when your device shows up on the list, tap it to add. You can check the connection by looking for a green dot next to the device name. Enable the Racebox Mini logging with a slider. When you go to record a session, you will see the Racebox Mini listed in the external device tile, which will turn green when it has connected. A couple of final tech tips when using any GPS receiver. Make sure the GPS has a clear view of the sky by mounting it on the roof, the dash, or somewhere where it is not blocked by metal surfaces. Depending on how long the GPS has been off for, the process of locating satellite signals can take a minute or two. We recommend leaving the GPS on for a few minutes before your first session of the day, and check that the GPS signal indicator on the device confirms that it has a good signal. Check your manufacturer's instructions for how this is shown on your device. This will give you the best possible race line and speed recording accuracy in My Race Lab.